Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Only now, after many years, I understand what it all meant. Need support. Here is my strange story. I was in a later with a woman, I was 33 and she was 35 at this time. And after 6 years of relationship she left me. Now it comes the interesting part. Approximately 2 years before she left me, a curious thing happened. A friend of mine got married and invited me and my girlfriend to his wedding. She did not want to go, adding some excuse. After the breakup I recollected this episode and understood she didn't want people to ask us. And you too? When are you going to marry? As she probably had different plans. Actually, when another couple of friends asked us when are you going to marry? While I answered something like we don't know yet, she hurriedly closed the conversation with something as, oh, well it's too early to discuss that and it was palpable that she was embarrassed. I confronted her when we were alone, and she evasively made clear that the wedding, which we discussed up until the year before, was not any more in the plans. During this period, I mean two years before the breakup, once I called my fiancé's home to talk with her but she was out, it was an evening, and her mother answered the phone. And she told me something, in 2001, that I did not understand until 2021. She told me, I have to tell you as you are a responsible and honest person. My daughter since when she is working in the new office has changed. I don't recognize her anymore. I asked more and she only added, she is wasting your time. I have to tell you. Beware her, as she may end up ruining your life. She wouldn't say more than that. She didn't explicitly tell my girlfriend having affairs. As I was a coward, I didn't have the courage to bring this issue up with my girlfriend. So I just pretended to not have received that warning from her mother. At that time I was not very rich, so I just thought that the mother of my girlfriend may not have been happy with me marrying her daughter. But I was wrong, as her mother did respect me and wanted me in the family. Once I found a good job and said to my girlfriend, okay now if you want we can marry. She said, sobbing, that she didn't feel ready and she added a phrase which alarmed me but, I was a coward, remember? didn't make me want to explore more of the issue. She said, it should only depend on us. While crying. I didn't have the courage to ask, why, is there someone else involved in this decision? Later that year she started renewing the house in which she lived with her parents. She added a floor and created a new flat there. I just thought that she was willing to live there to be more independent from her parents. Once I asked something about the new flat, please note, I wasn't auto-inviting myself to live there, she said something as, I am not building this new flat to live in it with you. I was a coward and a stupid boy so I didn't have the balls to ask her, ah, uh, and who are you planning to live in this flat with, then? Now, in 2021, I have all the answers. Better late than never, huh? I called her after 18 years of absolutely no contact. The breakup was something as, look, I see you as a brother. I have not been in love with you anymore for some time. And in the breakup she didn't mention other people or give me the impression of monkey branching. So I just felt that her love for me expired and somehow I accepted this as of course you cannot force someone to love you if she doesn't love you anymore. So I called her, asked what's going on in her life. And she told me she is married. She married like two years after our breakup. From what she told me and what I found online I understood that. She married a man which is 16 years older than her. This man divorced from his wife to marry my ex-girlfriend, and went to live in my girlfriend's house, that's why she was building a new flat. Now, finally, I understand. What her mother, now dead, was trying to tell me in that strange phone call was, as I believe now, that her daughter was having an affair with this older married man. And that situation was probably making her angry as she didn't like that her daughter was a family buster. I now strongly believe that my ex-girlfriend kept having me as official boyfriend for two years while she had continuous sex with this married man before his divorce. 
I think that she may also have used me as a psychological weapon with her AP telling him stuff like, look, if you don't leave your wife and marry me, I may marry my fiancé instead. So basically I have been betrayed for, at least, two years of time. During these two years, a strange, strange then, very clear now, thing happened. Once, me, my fiancé and her friends went to a resort for a holiday. And she insisted in keeping the communicating door between our room and her friend's room open, which prevented me to initiate sex with her. Now I understand that, probably her friends knew everything about her affair with this older married man, and she wanted to show them that she wasn't having sex with me. Why? Well, because she is faithful. Only faithful to her AP of course. So, I was as I said a coward and a stupid. How would you judge the behavior of this, very planning, woman? You were more naive than a coward. It happens to a lot of people. Also, just because they're still married, doesn't mean it's a happy one. Chances are, they're both cheating on each other or it's more of a business marriage. Hopefully you learned enough to start truly moving on. I was a coward as I should have asked her mother, what are you exactly trying to tell me? Is there another man in the picture? I should have asked the same question to my girlfriend when she told me she didn't want to marry me anymore. And I should have had the courage of facing unpleasant or challenging answers. Instead I was scared of knowing the truth. You were in love. It's the ultimate blinder. There's plenty of stories of people doing a lot worse. You have to forgive yourself first before you can move on. I would like to add another piece of information for all the guys who are reading this thread. One key clue in understanding what happened 18 years ago is that she was, very probably, setting up a new flat in her home because she was expecting her AP to divorce from his wife, and as they had a kid, the AP was forced by law to leave his own house to his wife and his kid, so he had to go to live with my ex fiance so the fact that she married a freshly divorced guy makes sense with monkey branching and knowing in advance that she had to use her own house for her future with the AP. Why are you contacting her 18 years later? I'm more concerned about your emotional state to not have recovered at all in 18 years. Actually, I haven't recovered from this experience for all these years. And this has kept me from starting love relationships with other people as I felt very diminished, my self-esteem went absolute zero after this failed relationship with my ex-girlfriend. As I was convinced that the breakup was all about me, all about me being maybe boring or uninteresting or something like that. If I had been aware that the cause of the breakup was a monkey branching relationship, it would have been devastating all the same, but it may have been somehow better for my self-esteem than just being left for no one else. I decided to call her after 18 years as I believed that she was marrying now, in 2021, from a, wrong, piece of information that I got. So I was just curious. And somehow I kept for these years hoping that she would change her mind and rehabilitate me. I kept hoping for some reconciliation. Which now I see as impossible, of course. Seems you need to start working on yourself if you're still holding on 18 years later. You've got to focus on your own issues and trauma. You are right. It hurts to see you call yourself a coward. I don't think these situations are as black and white as we think they would be as outsiders. The shame of being betrayed when there were red flags is a feeling that resonates with me, but as a person reading your story, I can see clearly that the blame for her deceit lies with her. I hope that you can work through this. If therapy is an option, I suggest EMDR and if it's not I encourage you to read up on betrayal trauma. These books are typically geared toward women I think more because we've made it too shameful for men to talk about this than because women don't cheat. What happened is traumatic. Trauma takes a lot to work through. If you never addressed it, it makes a lot of sense that it would still be plaguing you all these years later. I call myself a coward because in the past I had all these clues of something being wrong, but I was scared of confronting her with all this stuff, because I was afraid of knowing an unpleasant truth. So basically my behavior was all things will adjust if I pretend there's nothing wrong. Which is quite a stupid and magical thinking behavior. 
this isn't really about you, except you need IC, it's about her, her manipulation, and her deceit. Not sure what country you're in, but when a parent tries to warn you, listen. Move on amigo. Please. Just dot move dot on. You are wiser, smarter, and, hopefully, more aware of, and willing to take action on, red flags. Be the best you. Do not let her actions from nearly two decades ago continue to hold you prisoner. Life is short. It's too short to live on a mental plantation where you are held slave to her actions from long ago. Your answer makes a lot of sense. But I was senselessly in love with her so I didn't reason quite well. That's a typical cheater. She got away with it. I'm surprised she told you the truth even now. She hasn't told me the truth. The only truth she told me in this 2021 phone call is that she has married two years after we had the breakup. That her husband was coming from a divorce, she didn't tell me that she was the cause of his divorce, and she told me that she lives with her husband in the flat which she renewed, but she didn't tell me, now or then, that two years before our breakup, she was renewing it planning to live there. These are all pieces of information that I understood now by putting together the pieces of the puzzle and the clues of the past, which in the past didn't make too much sense to me. So she hasn't told me that basically her husband stole her from me, and that she stole her husband from her husband's former wife. Well done, for putting all the pieces together. You must feel a sense of closure, but also anger. That's fine, feeling angry. Don't blame yourself too much. She was a manipulator and used you for a while. Seek closure now, and move on and not give her any more of your time. You were told by a person who was in the best position to know who and what your ex was and you chose to be a Pollyanna. Too bad you wasted so much time on a common woman. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 